Looks like it's uh, built like a tank. <laughs> Look at that. Awesome. And you just scroll through the presets here, I guess. Look at that. Yeah. Wow, that's, cool, that's really cool. Let's let's try the. Uh, why don't we try the, the British cabs that you? Oh sure, yeah. Uh, buy. Let's replace the EVH ones. Actually, yeah, those. Let's try. Let's try that one. Yeah. Okay, so now you have these two different speakers. So now it's going through both. We'll pan these a little bit this way. Okay. <laughs> My initial thoughts are it's very intuitive. It's very easy to use and dial in a tone very quickly. Um, the first moments I had it, I was able to dial up a tone in probably uh, 45 seconds. Switching between amps. Mm hmm. Now. Ah, uh, yes, okay. Very cool. I back down on the gain here. Okay. Uh, some. Yeah. Okay, so I probably wouldn't use this either. Okay. Let's just get rid of that for yeah. now. That's so cool. <laughs> I probably want to go back and just add a bit more gain now, because... Yeah, yeah, you've taken it down a bit. Yeah. So see, this would probably be good for like... And I also want to lengthen the... What I just did was just went... Like that. I mm -hmm. like really long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's 
sounds phenomenal. There's so there you go. Layer. So it's, it's not, you can pick yeah. and you're yeah. getting all the articulation exactly. and then you get it at the end. I could definitely use this in my home studio environment at home, no problem. And absolutely live for Arch Enemy, you know? We do this thing where we, you know, we have automated MIDI settings live, so I'm not, I don't have to do any tap dancing on stage, so it's capable of doing that, you know? I can uh, dial in all the effects that I need for each song. Like I said before, very intuitive and very easy to use, and uh, I love it, it's great.